Welcome back, everybody. Tonight, the Oscars take place. So in honor of that, we're going to have our own awards show. But we won't call it the Oscars. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Deacons, the first ever Deacons. We will honor the best things about East Tennessee sports in the past calendar year. And the qualified nominees come from the latest completed season, except basketball, because we are so far into that season. The first category is about our way with words. Sometimes someone says something that makes you go, hmm, that was good. Other times, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is Best Soundbite. Best Soundbite, Kelly Harper. I'm not here to try to be Pat Summit. I'm here to be Kelly, who learned from Pat Summit. Jeremy Pruitt. When you get out there, all right, just shut your eyes while you're driving down the road, okay, and see how well you do. All right, because if you don't know the things that I'm talking about and you're trying to play defensive line, uh, you're basically playing with your eyes shut. Rick Barnes. A really good friend of mine and a guy that I love dearly, Eddie Dalton. And one day when we were talking while I was coaching there, he said to me, I just want to live long enough to see us beat North Carolina in Chapel Hill. So as soon as I found out that they won, I called him and I said, well, you can die now. Trey Smith. I made up my mind and don't expect to ever look back. I'm going to say at the University of Tennessee, And the winner of Best Soundbite goes to head coach Jeremy Pruitt. He told us to shut our eyes while driving to make a point about defense. So it's kind of obvious. Moving to the next category, here are the nominees for Best High School Game. Best High School Game, Oak Ridge versus Powell. IMG Academy versus Catholic. Morristown East versus Halls. The winner of best high school game goes to Halls High School versus Morristown East. The ball was thrown out of play, meaning Kendall Moles could score the walk-off run and send the Lady Devils to the state tournament. Turning to the University of Tennessee now, this category is about the best from the orange and white. Best UT game, Lady Vols versus Alabama. Oh my gosh. Vols versus Indiana. Lady Vols versus Florida. Outside ball four and Tennessee forces game three. This wasn't an easy choice, but the winner of best UT game goes to the Lady Vols basketball team in their game against Alabama. The Gator Bowl wasn't that good of a game until like the fourth quarter, honestly. Our last category honors the best performances that are so rare we may never see it again. Best unicorn performance, Jarrett Garantano, 415 passing yards versus Missouri. Haley Bearden, two grand slams versus ETSU. Vols baseball, 21 strikeouts versus Indiana. Strikeout number five for Lingenfelter. Here's the payoff pitch. The winner of best unicorn performance goes to Haley Bearden. She hit two grand slams in a game, which is unbelievable. That's just incredible. There are more categories and winners, but those will be on WBAR.com. Award for best host goes to David Sheely, hands oh, down. Thank you. 